All right, so Dave just finished his skis, put his sockies back on, and uh, he's cleaning up the machine for the next person. We have the scan here. We're gonna I'm gonna sit down with Dave and take a look at his numbers. All right. I'm ready. Okay, so just taking, there's a lot of things to look at here. This was a blank page. So if we just start at the top, intracellular water, extracellular water, intracellular water, he has basically 80 pounds of intracellular water. What does that mean? He's super hydrated right now, that's very good. Extracellular water is, 50, is 46 pounds. Those two numbers together are gonna bring you down here and give you this ECW, TWB analysis. You always want this to be 0.39 or below. If this gets above that, that could mean that you have, you're carrying inflammation, you're carrying water weight, which you could have after a hard workout, which is why you don't want to do the scan after a hard workout. Got it. Okay. But this is all good. That's his total body water weight right there. So of his 205 pounds, 126 of it is water. Dry lean mass, 46 pounds. So that's like his muscle without water. 46 pounds of muscle. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Sounds like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> now, his muscle and his water together make up 172 of his pounds. Mm -hmm. And then his fat makes up 33 of his pounds. Cool. Okay, so right now we still don't really know is that good or bad. So we go down here to the muscle fat analysis, okay? This arrow pointing down, can you see? Yeah. This arrow pointing down would mean you are below average of your height and age and gender for that. This arrow, this dash in the middle, this means you are average for that. And then up, this means you are above average for your age and height and gender. Okay, so body weight, as you can see, Dave is slightly above average, okay? We're not gonna worry about weight though. We're gonna worry more about these two, skeletal muscle mass and body fat mass. As you can see, Dave is way above average in his skeletal muscle mass. Is almost like 127%, so that's 27% higher than the average for that, and you want that, okay? He is about average for his body fat mass, as you can see right here in the average range. So this is what we call a D shape, okay? Body weight in, uh, body fat in, skeletal muscle mass out, that's a D shape. And some people will come through as an I, it's equal, which is still okay. We want a D, an I is equal. C would be body weight out, skeletal muscle mass in, body fat out. Okay. If you come through with a C, that means you want to increase your muscle, and decrease your body fat. Mm. And that's why we don't really worry about weight too much. As you can see, we're worrying more about these two numbers. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, this is all good. Now down here, BMI, we don't worry about BMI too much. They put it on here though. A more accurate is your body fat percentage, 16%. And that's a good percent for males. You wanna be anywhere between 10 and 18% and females are 18 to 28%. So he is in a good percentage a body fat for females. Males. Okay. I'm a I'm male. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Oopsie. All right, now we have the segmental lean analysis. So this is talking about right arm, left arm, trunk, right arm, right leg, left leg. How many pounds of muscle are in his right arm? 10 pounds, okay? 10.8 pounds. His arms are pretty equal there, as you can see. And as you also see, his arm strength is above average. Okay? Yep. Another number you want to pay attention to this percentage, 128, 129%. You want that above 100. 100% there means you can support 100% of your body weight with that limb. Oh, wow. Okay. That's cool. Okay. His trunk, 78% here. I'm sorry, 78 pounds of muscle in his trunk and he can support 117%. So right here, you can see his arms are stronger than his trunk, essentially, with those percentages. 
And then his legs. Oh, Dave, the legs. The legs need work, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> but he still is above 100 with his legs. Okay. Cool. Okay. That's my first goal, get these legs stronger. Yeah. Now this number here, we want 0.39 or below, so he has that. I had already talked about that a little bit. Body fat, lean body mass control. Okay, negative means to lose body fat. So he could gain, he could stand to lose 0.26 pounds, 2.6 pounds of body fat, which would help decrease this number here. But he does not want to do that to the expense of losing skeletal muscle mass. Right, right, right. Okay. Now this is your, uh, basically, how many pounds of fat you have in each arm, your trunk, and your legs. Okay? Cool. Your arms are very lean, almost below average. No fat in your arms. Those are all those bro sessions. Yeah, baby. Okay, your trunk is above average. This is normal. Okay. Okay, we, all of us are probably gonna be showing this. Right, and then your legs are in the normal range for fat on your legs. Okay. Okay. This is your visceral fat. This is the fat inside. This is the fat that you can squeeze. Yep, yep. This is the fat you can't squeeze. This is inside, inside your organs. And we want that to be below 10, Got which it. you are. Okay. Basal metabolic rate here, 2062. This is the ab this is the number of calories that Dave burns in a day that he's done absolutely nothing. So this number is the, the absolute minimum number of calories he should ever eat. If he ever goes below this number, he's not going to be supporting skeletal muscle mass at all. Interesting. Also, if he goes below this number, his body's going to get into storage mode and say, "You know what? I'm not going to let you burn any of this fat because I need it for energy." Right. So you need to get this number at an absolute minimum to maintain your skeletal muscle mass and burn fat. That's important. Okay. okay. You have any um, questions about your scan? No, that was great. So when should I rescan? So you can scan, you know, two weeks is kind of, kind of soon. All right, maybe three to four weeks out. About four weeks. And now what kind of changes would you make based on the scan? I want to get my legs stronger for sure. So a lot of assault bike riding. <laughs> get my body fat down a little bit more. More assault bike riding. Yep, sure. And um, what else? So decrease. Know. Now, you, you, again, when you're looking to decrease your body fat, you do not want to do it to the expense of losing your Correct. skeletal muscle mass. Well, I'm going to bro sesh all the time. Yeah, maybe more legs in the bro sesh. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, well, working with Willie, it's a little bit tough. Sorry, but. All right, so. Cool. Very cool. All right, let me awesome. know questions later on if you have them. All right. We'll talk about diet two. How can we keep that muscle mass on? maybe and lose that body fat. So you're gonna have to eat a certain way to do that and that's where our food choices will come into play. Perfect, love it. Okay. Thank you. Okay.